Yo, JD here, Tyrell Limus, and as you can see, as always, back on F1 2019. And this is a new 110% AI attempt. And this is at the Paul Ricard track in France, heavily requested after I did my Suzuka one, which, not gonna lie, almost felt impossible to me. I feel if you're at minimum esports level or very close to esports level, well, then some with some a few attempts, so no, you, you will be able me. to do it, but you have to drive at an incredibly good level. But this track here at France, a lot of people said that arguably this was actually the hardest track to do on the 110 AI. And I was really looking forward to this because this track is one of my favorite tracks on the game, uh, along with Suzuka, the Silverstone. I absolutely adore this track. And I know a lot of people hate it, but it's very, very good for me on raw pace. And as always, we had quite a few attempts at doing this. And you can already see straight away how good the AI are at just uh, coming off its line. And I knew it was going to be a really, really tough challenge um, to do this uh, because you have to be so decisive against this AI. They do not move out of the way for you. And after this, I honestly agree when people say they don't know. It's not just default setup that they're running and they have unlimited DRS. I actually think they just, you can see here, just at a straight line speed, there's just an extra performance that they have within them. And they really, really do. And you can see here, probably, well, definitely was my fault there, but just to give you an example, they do not move out the way for you. But in these videos, I feel any challenge is almost possible to do, but I wanted to do it in a realistic time limit because if you did this on career mode there wouldn't be any fun if you just keep on restarting all the time as so we just get completely blown up by the AI there but yeah I don't think there'd be any fun in just completely restart every race until you win every race and um, you've got to uh, treat it a bit realistically and you can see here the AI they just love to go side by side here and in order to really have a chance of beating this AI Sometimes you have to actually restart it to get in the right scenario because if one of them gets away like my teammate, it's pretty much impossible to catch them up or to get on level terms with them. It's almost impossible and completely. So, you know, they have a really big tendency to do this. You can see side by side again, and then they slow down in the corners and then you just get damage. And that is how it is. But sometimes we did pull off some pretty good moves, as you can see, going into this chicane i love going into this chicane a lot of people use the track here but i prefer to actually stay on track and we're as always trying to keep it clean as well but the main thing i want to share with you is just a realistic perspective of how good or how fast i should say this ai really is and that's really what i'm going to be showing you in this video here today so as always we are going to be running the default setup so this is now the full run that I did. We've got five lights here trying to get a good start. This is actually one of my better starts. They're just an absolute rocket ship coming off the line and we're boxed between two cars here. So we're going to try and get the inside for the right hand. A very important that you do is leaving a little bit of room on the outside. We managed to maintain our position going down into this first sector, which I absolutely love. I really, really do enjoy this first sector. Have to really hook your car carefully it's kind of like a scale electrics, I think. If you just go offline, it really just completely destroys just the rhythm you have going through this track. And you can just see already just the speed that they have. It's just nuts. And there's no way that they're just running default setup with uh, unlimited DRS or something. They they definitely have a, a speed advantage in terms of acceleration and straight line speed. But I do notice, as we already get a warning, I do notice that sometimes depending on some laps and mainly in the last sector they do turn down their ERS uh, coming off the last corner or look, maybe they just run out of ERS and it just gets a complete recharge but that's certainly what it feels like and we're racing against this but you can see for now they are just so so fast just a raw power and, and grip as well they're just absolutely mega and without a doubt even after 10 minutes going into this, I just knew straight away that they were just so much harder uh, than what Suzuka was. But the real strategy you need to do here is that you really need to clear the Red Bulls 
as quick as you can because uh, they are actually a little bit slower on the straight than you and everyone else but the main thing is like i said suzuka you have to stay in this drs zone if you get out of this drs zone i think i can actually catch them and uh, especially the red balls i could definitely catch them but it, it makes your life almost an impossible task and as going through this video like we always do i will be talking about how i'm actually approaching this track but right now i'm just desperately trying to keep in this DRS zone you can see Sergio Perez is actually closer to me than I am to Max Verstappen <laughs> you know so I really need to be getting to move on but at the moment this scenario is actually playing out quite nicely because uh, one of the Ferraris is actually putting my teammate under pressure and um, which is good so he's not getting away if he gets away I, I even think if you're an esports world champion it's going to be very difficult to catch from, from this kind of distance so the Ferrari and the Red Bull you can see going side by side again I really love this last I think I said that about every sector I, I actually love driving this track and maybe a bit of a bore fest to watch in real life but on this game I feel this is definitely one of my best tracks on the game itself and you just need to be so precise particularly if you're braking you really do need to do that and I use seventh gear quite a lot a lot of people have asked me that as well and the main reason is not really so much for engine braking which it does slightly on 2018 it was a lot more overpowered than this um, it's mainly because it's just easier to go down the gears and less likely that you're going to make a mistake by going down three gears instead of four gears and you don't really lose much time on the straight it doesn't really damage your engine or anything at all so for me there's there's no there's no downside to it and that's the reason why i do it but going through here you have to hook your car on the left hand side if you don't you're going to be losing a definite tempo or so but fighting so so hard now to stay in this DRS zone we have to stay in this DRS zone and luckily we have just done that so now I've used quite a bit of ERS already time to actually turn it down and turn down the fuel they're still going side by side and looks like my teammate has now gone back into second place so this is actually pretty good news for me so far and since I'm within DRS range and slipstream range, I'm not having to just completely expend the performance of my car. You can see that's what exactly what I'm talking about. In the first sector, the Red Bull is quite slow sometimes, but you can see just the grip he has going around the outside. So we have to force him ever so wide a little bit. And we get the line done and we make the move. And going into this corner, probably my favourite corner on the track, it's such a difficult braking zone. You have to trail brake throughout the entire corner. But yeah, it's just got such a good rhythm to it. But now, thankfully, I'm in the DRS zone of Sebastian Vettel coming off this corner, trying to avoid using uh, the hot lap and overtake mix as much as I can because your ERS really does deplete pretty quickly uh, around here. So going for this first sector, using seven gear, back down to four gears, try and go almost flat out for this right hander. You do not want to hit the inside curb because it will really make your car quite unstable. Going into here, as you hit the 100 meter pole, that's your turning in point. Fourth gear, then third gear, hooking it on this curb. That's what I mean by scale electrics. You really need to hit that line every single time. Then short shift it into fourth gear just to minimize the wheel spin. And through here, the, the AI grip is just ridiculous. I'm almost, I'm so, so tight to that left hander, but you have to take it flat out. And again, if you hit that curb too much, it will actually spit you out completely. There's been a few occasions where I've just completely spun from that. A lot of people elect to use the curb there, but I don't. Third gear and just kissing that bump on the inside. I find it gains you a lot of time. If you don't do that, you're going to make the distance of the corner a lot more. And it's just going to cost you a lot of time going through here. Sometimes I go up into eighth gear like I have done in this occasion. If I was by myself, I'd probably use you know, seventh gear going to here. Going down the gears slowly to keep the rear end in check. And then go maximum throttle going through here. I hold it in fifth gear and then kind of like middle of the track and use third gear for the extra rotation going through the last part of the corner if you really do need it sometimes you can get away with fourth gear but we'll actually go go into the pits just about staying within the limits of the track and i'm gonna go for the undercut here because the undercut is the way to go against the ai around this track and i actually felt like in my previous video i actually felt even stronger on the harder compound tires so we'll go do that absolutely perfectly coming out the pit so it didn't get delayed or anything whatsoever and the ai typically pit like in the lap six maybe even seven sometimes they get triggered on the next lap since i've pitted 
but now just to focus purely on this pit lane line that's the second line there as you hit that some people mistake it for the first but going through here holding it in sixth gear as the curve finishes or before before that curb starts that's you turning in point and try and hold it as flat out as you can and now this is important this is the most crucial part because if i want any chance of winning this race i'm gonna have to do a really really good outlap hold it in fourth then third going down into here and then just before the car is straight that is your turning in point i stay away from the inside of that right hand that you may have noticed and because i do that it, it just really really makes the car very unstable it's quite a bumpy track uh, this track here and we're running default setup we're not running a soft suspension or anything at all so the car's not going to be you know, particularly kind to you uh, over these bumps into here you really want to hit that bump and this this bump here is the there's like two parts of that curb one slightly lower one slightly higher if you just kiss the one that's slightly higher i find it just really rotates your car around that corner very very well and this is what i mean staying in seventh gear when i'm by myself going into here you don't lose any time in a straight line and it just allows that slight engine braking that can make quite a big difference so i do the same here nice wide line third gear and then back into fourth very quickly to just keep the car stable and just controlling the traction as the curb finishes that is your turning in point then holding it in gears for quite a while around this track you may notice because the rear end can just become very unstable otherwise and coming onto here really really pushing it now and you can see there is a ferrari coming out of the pits who is this going to be that is sebastian vettel and we have to do a very good first sector we have to get in this drs sons are really really pushing it just daring the throttle as much as you can here put it up into height and then back down once again but leaving it in rich mix taking a bit more risk on this right hand at this time missed the left part of it but we should just about be in the drs on a lot of short shifting through this next sequence of corners because the rear end just really wants to get away from you and we should just about be in the DRS zone and I felt round to this track against this AI as long as I got in the DRS zone it was fine but if you were out of the DRS zone in one of the Ferraris and my teammate then you know unless you're <laughs> yeah I say a very good esports driver it's gonna be not impossible but very hard to catch them up because I just feel they just have an extra performance advantage but you can see going down here they some laps are very very quick in a straight line but other laps are not they seem to really fluctuate in how they actually use the ERS but being early as you can going through into here now you can see we're having a very tough time even keeping up from here but I think the only corner as we always lose the car there I think the only corner where we actually are quicker than the AI is well the first well the only sequence I'd say is actually going through the first sector not turn one and two but I say the right hand are left and then the right coming onto the straight I said there's the corners that we are quicker at. and you can see we have actually lost the DRS of Vettel going through here and you no know, the leaders have actually come out ahead of me so we're in the net P4 you now ahead of both red balls but you can see just for this first sector again this is where i gain the times so going into here you can see gaining a lot of time through here and now hooking it through that left there that's exactly how you want to do it. this is exactly how you want to do that first sector on that occasion as we're actually going green here short strip into here but they always get an insane release coming off this corner but as long as you're in a drs then you actually do catch them quite quickly in a straight line and we also have some traffic up ahead of people who haven't pitted because we are in p9 there's the people who have actually gone the medium tires gained a little bit through this corner as well hitting that inside curb that i was talking about running over this but not too much because the rear can get generate a lot of wheel spin otherwise and then going through to this one leaving it into high just being smart about your ers trying to just not overuse it as much as you can i put it down to lean not ready to get that good traction or anything or to um, just save that much fuel but it's ready to just like, save the engine temperatures although it doesn't really hinder your performance hardly anything um, not even really noticeable at all i always just feel better about myself knowing that i have the maximum engine performance as i can but going through this last sector we've had a very good last sector this time don't hit that bump coming off the last corner on the entry or the exit and now leaving it in high again and we'll go quickly put it back down to no ear rest because you can see we're just gaining in a straight line there's no reason to leave it in that high setting as we gain lose a little bit of time but lost quite a lot of time on that exit and that is 
that's exactly what can happen if you just make a small mistake against it. Look how much time we've lost. So again, we're going to have to take some risks. So that is our second warning now. You have to take the risk to get back in the DRS zone. First gear, just to get that little extra bite into the corner. I'm praying that I was close enough because they're so, so fast coming off this corner here. And we just about barely stay in the DRS of this AI. But they are coming up on to a little bit of traffic. So this could actually play a little bit in my favor so the race is not over yet going through the chicane you can see under braking i feel we gain quite a significant amount of time compared to what they do but it's just purely an acceleration where they just gain it all back and just pure corner and grip on some occasions but going through this last sector let's see how fast they're going to be on this occasion leave it in lee mix I'm going to really, really attacking this corner and be as early as you can. Don't be afraid to go out wide and don't even be afraid to go quite tight. You can see we're going fairly tight into here, not making the same mistake as we did in the other lap. And we should again be in the DRS. And let's see if the people ahead pit. Then they don't actually. I think only one of them actually pits, but there's still some traffic. And this means we could actually get back into the fight of trying to win this race. But getting on the DRS, very good exit from Vettel again. But we're just going to leave it in high. Try not to panic when you're in this scenario, thinking that you need to use more than you really do need to. Brake early, slow in, fast out is really what you want to be doing uh, for this corner. It's better to lose speed on the entry, but just gain it all on the exit. And going to here, we're having a very, very nice sequence of corners. Not taking as many risks this time because we should comfortably be within this DRS zone. And it looks like Leclerc has actually got out into the lead. And my teammate is stuck behind a runner. I'm not sure which runner that actually is. But coming through here, it's always going three abreast into this chicane. Now I'm using just high mix again because we're no, we're lacking quite a bit on the ERS here. Put it back down to lean. Let's see what happens here. You can see how much slower they go through into here. And it's crucial that we get past this runner going in to this next sequence of corners putting it up into overtake but the Renault is quite quick in the straight line as well let's see what happens through here the AI is probably going to be a little bit slow on the apex but we do a very nice corner into trying to go down the inside of the Ferrari here let's see what happens but you just can't get enough grip trying to go on the front and look at the acceleration that he just gets coming off this corner the AI can even though he hasn't pitted yet sometimes can just go straight back at you but now we're in a DRS train uh, with the Claire leading, then my teammate, and then Vettel. And now we've got three laps of this race to go. So it's still all to play for. But this is this is just giving you a real perspective of how well you have to drive here. I really haven't made uh, that many mistakes at all uh, throughout this race at all. And just making sure I'm very close in this DRS line. There's the two, well, the Ferrari and my teammate are actually batting up ahead. We've got no threat from behind uh, whatsoever here. So I was really thinking at this point, maybe I could actually get past this Ferrari and then try and launch a little bit of attack on the top two. But it's going to be ha absolute perfection. And I really need them to actually battle uh, quite a bit more. So put it into hot lap. And you can see again, just the acceleration they got. But we're just going to put it back down to no ERS really. Although I think we're actually going to go for a move on this occasion. So we're going to go around the outside going into the chicane and that is a very nice one hooking this curb and now my intent was that i need to push on a bit because i can see the front two actually battling quite a bit and hopefully a vettel is not going to come back at me but we can see my ers once it goes below 20 percent you're actually going to be losing quite a bit of time compared to if it was actually above that so we're pushing very very hard through this last sector now trying to gain as much time as i possibly can you can see the car almost wanted to spit out but getting a very nice exit coming off here trying to just avoid using ers as much as i can really really throwing the car into here sometimes you use third gear just to kind of just rotate yourself around that corner but most of the time it's really better to stay in the fourth gear and i was really hoping now that the club would overtake my teammate into tell one you can see they're going side by side again so this is really working in my favor and potentially could get drs for the potential spot or the last lap you can see hitting that curb a little bit too much makes your car unsettled but they have really slowed each other down out in front of me so going through into here taking a bit of risk again really hooking it nicely for the inside of this corner and we should definitely be in the drs zone of the front two cars ahead of me but the problem is i just don't have that much really to use to actually attack at this point 
and it seems to be that AI just have an unlimited amount that they could just get recharged every single lap but they're going side by side they just absolutely just love to do this when they're racing against each other I see gaining some time on the entry but it's on the exit they're just going to have a really really strong performance through here using overtake and then put it back down to high just give you a little extra boost but they're just trying to avoid it as much as I can and we're going to put back down to none and then back down to lean and it's just crucial now that I have to stay in this DRS zone I'm coming off this corner but they are very very strong through here and you can see we're pushing the absolute limits uh, of what I can do around this track we are running default this uh, default setup to get my words out right um, so nothing we could change on the setup or anything the only thing I changed was just a front brake bias and just a diff but I actually just left the diff on normal here but we have managed to just about stay in this DRS zone so we have one really really one more opportunity I don't think we're going to be close enough in this lap but I'm just hoping that they just keep on batting through here so we have to get a really good turn one as much as I can and get a very very nice exit coming off of turn two and we have to throw everything going in to this first sector so again taking a little bit of risk making sure I hook the inside of this which I do nicely here first gear then short shifting up to second then to third then into fourth and let's see if I'm still in this DRS and I should have just about be in this DRS zone which I am so put it into DRS and then go straight back down to high but I am coming under attack from Sebastian Vettel because they are very very quick in a straight line but luckily they are going side by side as well as my teammate has now gone back into the lead it seems to be that the Ferraris are the OP car in a straight line going around this track but I have to defend from Vettel which is really not what I want at all because they AI if they see a gap they will absolutely they just go for it they'll just force themselves into that gap but this is the closest i've actually been to the front two so far in this race and it kind of feels like i'm in an esports race at this point it, i'm really having to push extremely hard into here so we've got just a couple more corners to go before we start this last lap of the race here and we're going back down into standard no ers going to be very close off this corner let's see what the straight line speed is going to be like compared to the front two and just hoping that I wasn't going to get well, put under attack from Sebastian Vettel behind me. The fire is very quick in the straight line. I don't know if my teammate is going to slightly defend, which he is going to slightly defend. Going through it here, trying to get a really nice exit off here, which we do. And you can see this is a place that I'm going to gain quite a lot of time on this AI going down into here. So taking a bit more risk, this is the final lap of the race. This is definitely the closest I've been going through the first sector so far. Let's see if I can do anything coming up down through the straight losing the lead mix just a little bit better traction and this is definitely the closest I've been putting it up into overtake and let's see if I can mount any some sort of an overtake going down through into chicane but it looks like Leclerc is going to be attacking my teammate first let's see what we could do through here we're going to let them go side by side really trying to give myself the best possible exit as I can we're going to launch absolutely everything I can but it seems to be on this last lap that they just deploy all their remaining ERS because they are just so fast going down into this straight here. I was thinking about doing a move here, trying to go down the inside of my teammate and making a little bit of contact with him. But again, you have to be so decisive. If you're not fully alongside them, there's absolutely nothing that you can do here. Fourth gear going through into this corner. And unless something catastrophic happens, between these two guys and I'm making a complete dive bomb from here there's nothing I can do coming off this last corner it's going to be Leclerc followed by my teammate who's going to win this race I come across the line in P3 and man that was seriously seriously tough and I did have other runs where I did come in second place I thought I was going to be guaranteed first and one of my first attempts I did at this and I think with a bit more time um, first pace you know, is easily possible you just need to be in the right scenario but I just wanted to give you a real perspective of not too many attempts um, and just giving you again just a, a realistic view of how good this AI and how fast they are and in my opinion it's not impossible to beat definitely not impossible but I think if you do beat them and if you did it comfortably then you should be probably driving in f1 esports or something like that but i really hope you enjoyed this video it was a, a very difficult race that i had to do 
as always thank you so much for the support Lee Grayson returns this Friday again at Silverstone cannot wait for that and Austria will be out most likely this Thursday thank you so much and I will catch you soon peace <laughs>